Hi, this is Maya. Obviously, you can't see me, but we're about to do an interview with one of our members, Silent Drummer, who is a member on Uzima Collective. Hi, Silent Drummer. How are you? Hi. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. How are you? I'm great. I'm just happy to be here. Excuse me. Okay. Here's my question to you. What is it? Well, actually, what does it mean to you to be a black lesbian? Hmm. It's not a choice, really. I mean, um, I'm a lesbian and I'm um, African American. It's it doesn't really have a special significance to me, except that that's double discrimination sometimes. So you have to be stronger, stronger will. But that's about as far as it goes for me. Mm. What are your views on relationships at this point? Taking it slow. Take it slow. Make sure and find out. You know, as a friend of mine would say, as you say, you know, life is too short. So, I mean, you don't want to get into something and get stuck and waste so much time, energy, money. You know, when you knew from the beginning that there was something about that person that just wasn't quite right with you. So, um, you know, take it slow, but go for it. Okay. Any thoughts on Proposition 8? I really don't understand why other people care so much. I mean, it doesn't really have anything to do with them. You know, let people who want to marry, marry. Let people who want to commit to each other, commit to each other. Um... I mean, it, it pretty much happens anyway. Uh, I don't really see where it really affects, you know, what I do at home affects someone else's household. You know, we both consider adults. It's just, uh, it's kind of a shame, really. You know, especially that so many African Americans voted against it when they know what discri discrimination is, is, is like. So, I, you know, I really don't get it. Okay, so how long have you been in the life? Hmm. Since 1994. That's 14 years. For 14 years. <clears throat> and what has your experience been like? <laughs> I've had all kinds of experiences. Of course, my first. I've had, you know, that crush on a straight girl. Oh, what was that like? Oh, uh, that's torture. I mean, she's straight, <laughs> you know, and you have this this crush. And she was actually the first person that I had a that first woman that I had a crush on. And that's how I found out that I was gay. Was my crush on my best friend. So I mean, she said it was flattery. It was flattering, but uh, that's about as far as that went. So, would you do it again if you were given an opportunity? Do what again? Have a crush on a straight woman. No. It's just, it's, it's just too much. Too much. <laughs> you know, I, I don't, I'm not the type of person that want to, like, turn somebody or whatever. You know, I'm, I'm, that's not my, that's not my walk. Well, we know that you are an advocate for women's rights. Women's rights. What is your view on sex? What is women's right and sex? I don't get the connection. Yeah. Hey, I mean, sex feels good. Do it. <laughs> you know, preferably in a relationship, in a committed relationship, because there's, you know, it's too much going on out here for one and two. I mean, I feel like the soul does get tired when you have sex with someone. I, I believe that. So we really shouldn't just do it willy nilly. But I mean, you got that part to do it as much as you want, however you way you want it. I mean, it's your bedroom. And so you would basically tell women to do it as much as they want as much as they want have no limits you know tear down the little uh little guards you have a 
you know, and, and enjoy it. And so I'm assuming that you're a woman without many limits, huh? Not, not very many. Really? I haven't tried a lot of things. Like what? <clears throat> I mean, I, you know. Like what? When, when, I, when I talk to other people with their experiences, <clears throat> excuse me, and things they have done, you know, mine's kind of kind of change, but I, I still say, you know, do, do what you feel. It's your bedroom. And how do you feel about safe sex? It's, 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 it's got to be safe sex. Get tested before you get involved. <clears throat> where there's, uh, you know, fluid exchange. I don't really mean kissing, but ladies, you know what I'm talking about. When you're going down, before you go down on another woman, get get tested. You, you should get tested. Um, it need to be at least three to six months, you know, since your last sexual experience. Uh, so, you know, but you really do need to get tested. It shows love. It shows that you care about yourself as well as the other person. You don't want to hurt the other person. You know, and uh, you should get tested. Same sex. Okay, and before we close this interview out, what would you like to say to up <clears throat> and coming and very new lesbians in the gay community? What would be a word of advice that you could give them? Well, it's okay to be gay. Is it really? Yes. <laughs> okay, go ahead. That's that's what I needed to know, and that's what I needed to hear. You know, it's okay to be gay. God loves you. You know, um, a lot of people, you know, they, they put themselves on a pedestal and try to build that pedestal out of you for being gay, but that's just their hang-ups. It's okay to be gay. You can love yourself. And... You know, welcome. <laughs> Call me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This has been fun. Thank you for tuning in. Peace. Peace. <laughs> Zima rocks. I love this site. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here. <laughs>